Hi, everybody. My name is Thing, and welcome to another episode of 12 Days of Pharmacology brought to you by Masir Medics. The medication we're going to talk about today is TXA or tranexamic acid. TXA has been around quite a bit in medicine with different uses related to bleeding, such as, for example, postpartum hemorrhages or severe epistaxis. But since the publication of the CRUSH2 trial, it has become increasingly popular in trauma patients as well, because the CRUSH2 trial demonstrated that there is a mortality benefit when TXA is administered to trauma patients within three hours of injury. But how does TXA work? Well, in order to understand how TXA works, we need to take a look at the clotting cascade. The clotting cascade is a pretty complex series of enzymatic and chemical reactions that happen within our body in order to achieve hemostasis, basically blood clots. It is a little bit more complicated than this, but unless you're an hematologist or you reverse anticoagulation on a daily basis, this is probably good enough. There's two pathways that we can observe. We have an intrinsic pathway and we have an extrinsic pathway in the clotting cascade. The intrinsic one is the one that activates when there is a bleeding inside the body versus the extrinsic pathway, which is what we have when we see, for example, penetrating trauma. Both pathways, they reunite here at the beginning of what's called the common pathway, where factor 10 converts to factor 10A, and eventually it culminates in the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin that then, thanks to factor 13A, ends up giving us a stable clot. But remember, the body is always trying to achieve homeostasis, not the same as hemostasis. Homeostasis means balance. And in order to get balance when it comes to clotting, our body is constantly making clots and breaking down clots. Otherwise, we would either be stroking all the time or bleeding out all the time. In order to break down clots, the body transforms plasminogen into plasmin, which then goes and attack our stable clot. Think about plasmin as a big, nasty, toothed monster that's going to start eating away at your clots. Where does TXA come into play? TXA comes into play right here. TXA will bind to a lysine receptor on the plasminogen molecule, which in turn is going to give us an inactivated plasmin molecule. Think about it as a monster with no teeth. It's just going to go around and do nothing. So our clot is going to last longer. And that's exactly what we want when we have a bleeding traumatic patient. Thank you so much for sticking with us and enjoy this festivity season. Bye-bye. One of the hardest things that paramedic students have to do is make decisions when they walk on an ambulance because they don't have the experience in order to do that. And so what we've done is solve that problem. We have built dozens of interactive scenarios so you can see the patients and see their vital signs and answer questions that you see in front of you and get immediate feedback. So when you walk on an ambulance, you feel more confident treating your patients.